Hey, Doombots, Tony Scongeli here with uh, a newsroom take on kind of a stream clip from last night. I just want to play it in a little. I went and opened two 10x ultimate chests and one 5x ultimate chest bundle, more or less to kind of showcase what they're about in case you guys are wondering, well, what do I get and what's it likely to give me? And uh, without going into too many spoilers, not much. <laughs> um, not much. I, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel like I got 3,600 or so gems worth of value or 1,700 or basically any amount of gems worth of value from it. But your mileage may vary. So before you go ahead and buy ultimate chests, take a quick look at this video. It's from my stream last night. Thanks. It was kind of funded by a decent number of the uh, members of my stream community. And uh, I appreciate them, but they basically just helped me make this video about maybe why you shouldn't be buying ultimate chests, at least as they are right now, or you'll see. Take a look. What's up, Doombots? Tony Scongeli here with a quick video of opening a 10x ultimate chest. Let's try to figure out real quick if this is even kind of worth it. So I'm a VIP. I'm going to buy the discounted one in the store. No problems there. Let's see what happens. Boop. Didn't help. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the store because I made that purchase. And I have the 10X bundle. Let's see what happens. Drum roll, please. One. Eight Merlin shards. That does not rock. Eight Merlin shards. Hold on, <laughs> this might get better. Eight jacks, all right, we're getting a lot of eights. I don't like eights. A little bit of oogie. All right, I'm noticing a, a pattern here. We're not gonna open this one till the end. Eight Shere Khan, wonderful. That's unfortunate. This is the special pack. This is the pack that is a guaranteed unlock. So either it's a character I have and it's gonna unlock it for me, or it's a character that I have and it's gonna give me between 25 and 80 shards of it. So let's see what it is. Drum roll, please. Don't buy these. Simple. What did I get? Don't get me wrong, getting a, a bunch of these shards is definitely gonna be helpful, right? Taking a quick look here, going into the exchange. I have plenty of these arbitrary useless shards to buy Steamboat Mickey with. Let me pick up some other stuff while I'm here. Just buying stuff while I'm waiting. Boop. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I have uh, purchased these multiple times and every time I purchase these, they are disappointing. If you are willing to spend a ton of money to get a very mediocre amount of value, they're great. You know, by all means, but just running the numbers real quick, it costs 3,600 on average per pack you open. Uh, what is that? Five, six, maybe? Six of them? So you get to open six of them? Is that worth it? Probably not. Nope, that's it, video over. But because of a brand new donation, we're not quite done yet. Someone decided they were gonna pay for me to open another Sadness Orb. Thank you so much for that subscription hamburger. You're the best, you're my hero. You are now a part of a cult. Tell your friends and family, they'll come by. Uh, now we're gonna have to go into the store and waste more gems on another absolutely terrible investment. Please do not buy these unless you are allergic to money. 
or just do or conversely you have so damn much of it you do not care those are the two reasons to buy these you're like ah whatever a thousand dollars is nothing let's see what i got ah yes excellent i mean to be fair the this is fine like the problem is one of these if i open one of these orbs none of these would have been worth it you know what i mean none of these pulls eight of any of these not worth it even though technically it's like 24 shards of a character in marvel strike force absolutely not wait one of these oh wait one of these is supposed to be a guaranteed is it this one No. Oh, was it Yzma? Yzma? Totally worth it. Totally worth it. What happened? My guaranteed drop. The, the guaranteed unlock drop. Which has a 1% chance of being one of the terrible characters. Proc the one of the worst characters in the game. Don't buy these. Don't buy these. These are not worth it. There's no value here. How many shards to a seven star? 330. And because there's no peace in my life, I now have to buy a five because it was paid for by someone in the stream. So the good news is those are definitely going to be garbage. And again, this is going to be the greatest video of all time. It's just going to tell everybody absolutely positively don't spend your money on these unless you don't care and want to just throw them out they have options they can make these good they can make these not suck it's their choice it's up to them they get to decide when these offers stop being completely useless now i can go ahead and buy this one because i'm a vip so it saves me a little bit of but what are you gonna do six star jack sparrow nice man so we did that and now we go to the store Let's see. Ooh, this one's shiny. More Sher Khan. Great. Never unlocking him. Ah, Pete Shards. These are fine. None of these are particularly bad. This is like eight shards is what you pay for when you get this. Any more you get is a bonus. So the fact that I got eight shards on four characters is what I expected. Don't expect to get more. Know that this is what you're getting. If they change that, then these will become better. But until then, eight per character, we'll see what happens. This one though, this one could be anything, even a boat. You know how much I wanted one of those. All right, 25 anger shards, phenomenal. Great, like, I, I'm not farming him right now. He's not worth farming right now. Whatever anyone says, he's not a top tier character. And by the time you get him strong enough to make him a top tier character, he's definitely gonna be out of style or he's going to be on his own team that does his own thing so that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching i've been tony scongelli and i'll catch you later